Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of KSP. So when we last left off, um, I was attempting to achieve some orbits, and I remember failing miserably. Actually, not not really failing miserably, but just not achieving um, the orbits that I <clears throat> had set out to achieve. So what we're gonna do is get some more science because I really, really, really want this right here this advanced rocketry because I want this terrier engine um radial decouplers are nice too but this terrier engine that's what I want so I need about 24 23 and a half more science I can get that relatively easily uh, relatively easy relatively easily relatively easy around the KSP here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a little uh like science rover deal here like that and um I wanted okay that's actually what I wanted structural fuselage because I'm not going to use much uh, fuel all right um Coupling the payload, don't really need. Uh, da, 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 da. This is what I was looking for. Alright, um, so we want uh, a lot of batteries on this behemoth. We want um, solar cells. Mo whoops. Where'd that go? Here it is. Actually, not there. Something like that. That's fine. That's probably more than enough. But you know what? That's that's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and turn off mirror mode here. Put that puppy there. And science. This is where the money is. Now what we'll want is our trusty little tiny engine. Um, I believe I need air intake too. Alright. Cyro Mark 1. Actually, no, we're just going to do Cyro. Because it, we're just going to keep modify, modifying this. Now, I wonder if. So, if I. Oh, that doesn't. Uh, what I want to do is, that's steering yes, steering no, and steering no. I don't really need steering on those. Just steering on the front. Save. Um, and we shall, that's fine. I guess we'll take um, uh, Bob, because he's our scientist. Get him some experience. I think we can get him experience doing this, I'm not 100%. This one here. Oh gosh, how many parts do I have? 36. Okay, so if I remove. So if I remove this. This. Save. Launch. This is just going to get us some needed science. Um, so what all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin these. Just right click pin. Right click pin. Oh, pin. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Transmit, transmit, transmit. And 
and we shall go. Likes to slide around a lot. Maybe I should have had some more fuel. That got some air there. Transmit, transmit. Or did that say can't? Oh gosh. Uh, Send it. Review, 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 transmit, transmit, transmit. There we go. Should have put a bigger antenna on this thing. <laughs> This always takes the longest. Get the VAB here. Oops, helps if I toggle break. Thank you. Oh, I've been messing this up. I need to do crew report too. Transmit pin. I'll have to come back and get the crew report on some of those other places. That's fine. There's the sun. That's right, because I've already got some temperature and stuff from the launch pad just due to the fact that um, I launched. Sit here for a second, let my uh, electric charge build up. like brake pads or anything <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, so let's review that. That's fine. We'll keep that. Log pressure data keep. Crew report keep. And we will recover vessel. Recover vassal. This should be enough science to get what we need. Um, I think oh gosh, yes, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, research and development. R and D. Yeah, buddy. Oh, gosh, I thought I bought the wrong thing for a second. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, so let's go ahead and open our Sam Mark One. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me, but drop this. Let's get rid of that. Um, put the terrier on. We got our seism, uh, seismic accelerometer. Accelerometer, yeah. Um, do, do, do. We got that, that, that. We got those. Let's go ahead and save this design. I might need a bigger tank. Here, maybe. This is what I'm using. I yeah, know I don't really want to use this one. That's kind of that's too big. All right, save. So let's go ahead and launch. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and achieve this red, this red one. So I'm spinning the opposite direction. So I, I want to take off to the west. All right, so those burn, then that one, while those detach, bam, bam. All right, so we'll go ahead and do this. I'm just going to nose over now. Just a little bit now. Just to get me going that way. Perfect. And I don't really need to worry too much about looking where my apoapsis is because um, I need to get way the heck out there. And I need my apoapsis to be almost 20 million. And my periapsis can be 11. So my, this apoapsis can just be whatever the heck I feel like, <laughs> essentially. Let's just slow that down a little bit, though. It's starting to get some re-entry effects. Well, I mean, not, I'm sorry, I apologize, that was way wrong. Not re-entry effects, but just some friction. I mean, it is the re-entry effect, I suppose. But it's, it's what is used for the re-entry effect. <laughs> and now we'll just, uh... Oops, I was hitting N. I was like, where's the map now? I'll be going this way. Yep, yeah, perfect. There, and that'll burn back up in the atmosphere. The fear of Atmos. Do 
I have maneuver nodes? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Fuel looking like. Hey, you can see a periapsis. Counter. I'd have been going way too fast though. So while we're here, let's go ahead and extend the antenna. Extend the antenna. Let's roll because we can. Because we're wasting electric charge. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, no maneuver nodes, but that's fine. We don't need them. Is just get our orbit relatively close. So this, and then let's go ahead and burn uh, prograde. So just push our orbit on out there. Fantastic. So. What I did was I burned so that I can get, well, you know what, let me get, this is a little off. Um, there. Now I'm going to get here and I'm going to burn <clears throat> uh, prograde again to push this side of my orbit towards that apoapsis and then I will, um, it'll still be off. My apoapsis will be like here, and I'll be like kind of orbiting like this. Well, I guess it's like this, um, and then I'll just turn my orbit. So that's that's the goal at least. I'll show you guys how that works here. This this might not be the efficient way to do it. I, I don't really know. I'm not like a professional in this game at all. I just know enough to make things work. Is it fuel efficient? Probably not. Get another encounter here. So there, my apoapsis is roughly on point. Oops, that's the wrong way. But now I'm going to want to burn here. Oh, wait, that's right, because it's not. I'm getting that encounter with the moon. Actually, can I use the moon encounter to put me where I need to be? Yeah, I can. Check this out. Oh, I probably can't. How's my fuel looking? Uh, let's go ahead and burn. That's the wrong way. Just keep adjusting my orbit here. There. I'm going to use the moon to get my apoapsis set right where I right there, and then I'll just push my periapsis out, and I'll be done. I'll make sure I'm not going to hit the moon, though. <laughs> so check this out. <clears throat> We're going to get real close to the moon. Well, not real close. In the grand scheme of things, we're really close to the moon. So let's see. I'm pointed that way. I'm moving that way. So there she is. Here we go. And she's going to get me, the moon is actually going to get me the orbit that I desire. And bam, 
just passed into the sphere of influence of the moon? Gravitational influence of the moon? Sphere of influence? Sphere of influence, I think, is correct, right? And goodbye, moon! Perfect. A little bit off canter there, but that's fine. Now let's just push my periapsis out. I'm probably going to have to do another little course, uh, a little correction. Maybe, we'll see. I need to maintain this orbit for 10 seconds. The problem is... <sighs> Yay! I want to do that. Just because of the fact that... Um, I'm going to uh, keep hitting the moon. That periapsis is right there. So it's like... I'm going to constantly be just being flung around by the moon. We don't want that. I don't want that. Um, okay, so I could do the polar orbit. How much fuel do I have? Okay, I could do the polar orbit now. I'm going to try something with my satellite and see... Um, I wonder if I can get away with this. Uh, I'll just save it. Um, Cause if I can do that, that means I can get other places. If that makes sense. Um, so I want to be in a polar orbit. I'm on this side. So that means I need to burn south. Right, because if I go south, if I burn south, I'll go this way. So, That way is south. Right? Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Um, I'm just going to do this. This. Because that was stupid. What I need to do is I need to get those other... Uh, no, let's revert to vehicle assembly building. Grab those. Grab these. And take those. Put those away. And we'll get these... I should just put these on to begin with. And actually, what I want to do is I want to do this, and I want to move these on just a smidge.
check your staging. So how many of you guys were screaming at your keyboard? Screaming at your monitor? Uh, revert to vertical assembly. <laughs> okay, we'll put that there. That should be fine. Pro tip, guys. Not a pro. Pro tip, guys. After, if you make a change to your craft, make sure to check your staging, because it's important. Very important. I know, I know what I need to do. I'm just not doing it. I know, I know. That those of you that are yelling at your monitor, I know exactly what I need to do. I know, I know, I, and I should have just been doing that to begin with. It's gonna fight me, it is gonna fight me, this launch is gonna fight me, oh man. I don't think I needed that third tank. I think that's just that's a little bit too much weight. I'm moving like laterally. <laughs> now I'm starting to go up a little bit. My fear is that. My weight's gonna start to get off. Gosh, I didn't, I didn't time. Oh yeah, yeah. I need what a periaps of four mil and apple apps of five five. Perfect. So we're just gonna burn hard. For basically this entire stage. <laughs> So I lied, we're not going to burn hard this entire stage. I'm starting to get some friction going on here. But for most of it.
I'm starting to think that the uh, that third tank is not a good idea, and it's not really gonna. It's not really helping me at all. Urban and burnout. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good enough. All right. So now I need to get my. Uh, I wonder if I can do that here. No. Yeah, I'm going to try to do something probably stupid. Can I start to shift my orbit now? How will that affect it? So if I come up over here and do this. Perfect. Easing my orbit on over. So my Apple apps is just a little is a smidge high. But that's okay. That's all right. We can adjust here. Again, this adju these adjustments I'm doing may not be uh, very proficient. And we'll come over here. And push my periapsis out. Like so. I imagine that would be good enough. As soon as my periapsis gets semi close, the line will disappear. Yep, there it goes. Perfect! Look at that. It's like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got two sat satellites that are kind of in like a, a polar. It's there. Well, they are. They're not kind of. They're in a polar orbit, which is fantastic because um, it allows me to pretty much always see one of these satellites. Um, oops. Go ahead and extend these antennas. I always have like. For instance, when, you know, if Duna, I'm, I'm, so, I'm not sorry, I'm uh, bad at Duna, wow, Minmus, if Minmus gets here, this equatorial satellite, will, the the uh, Kerbin will be blocking it, so I won't be able to technically get, now technically I should be able to connect to Kerbin, obviously, um, but Minmus will always be able to see 
one of the two polar orbit satellites. Ideally. In theory. Cool. Check. Contract done. Uh, how do I get back? Space Center. So there's two satellite uh, orbiting contracts done. And $357,000. Yes. Superb. And I get a little bit of science for that as well. I didn't want to go here. Um, so I need to figure out what I want to do next. I think I want to try to land on the moon. Um, or at least get a satellite orbiting the moon. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to orbit the moon. Um... Like science from around the moon. Satellites. Orbit of the sun? Oh. No. These stupid polar orbits. Um, alright, so what did I get? Science around the moon. Do I have a satellite already at the moon? I don't remember if I do or not. I, yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, so I'm going to get a satellite out to the moon. Get one orbiting the moon. Um, this is also a good test for the adding the third stage, because the, the the third stage that I added trying to get into polar orbit, it was it was harder. Um, it definitely was much harder to achieve a polar orbit. Um, I just realized what time it was. So I'm going to have to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and Next time, we're going to the moon. Moon or bust. <laughs>